welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be attempting to do the Harry Styles haircut when he was on the cover of GQ, which is this sort of look here. I'll put some pictures up for examples. So it's very, very much like a modern day Morrissey, you know, where it's, it's kind of pompadoured, um, longer here, gradually getting shorter in the crown and then underneath just kind of being all symmetrical in the same length. But it's really, really grown out and has a lot of texture to it. So we're gonna do it with the, the feather plie razor. So let's get started. So we're gonna go through and separate the top from the bottom. So I'll find where the, the recession is, take about the center of the recession straight back to where the quarter part is. I can go higher or lower depending upon the head shape and the thickness of the hair. But I usually try to keep that around the center of the recession, straight back to the quarter part, quarter part to the drop crown. Now what the drop crown is, is between the occipital bone and the, the crown of the head, that little bump right in the middle of the two. So after I've got everything sectioned out, I'll take a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide, spray that through. It's just going to even out the porosity and make it easier for my razor to slide through the hair. Now I'm going to go through and take a section that's parallel to this front hairline. All right, so I'm going to go through, comb this section out straight out from the head, and I'm going to judge the length by where it's falling on the ear. You know, in the pictures, it looks like it's a little longer and a little grown out. So I'm going to leave this a little longer than I would normally do on a lot of people that's getting the haircut today. But by going through and razoring it, it's going to create a lot of texture and remove a lot of that weight and keep it feeling a lot freer and not quite as long as it actually is. That's my guide. And now I'm going to continue to walk my guide all the way back to the center of the head. And that looks like this. So the next section will be parallel to that first section. I will comb this section into the previously cut section, and then I'll take both of those, hold it straight out from the head, open my razor, straight out from the head, there's my guide, the same razor stroke as I'm holding this at 90 from the head. Now from here, I'll remove the first section and I will add my third section. Pin that out of the way. Now I'll take section two and three, combine those together, straight up from the head. There's my guide. Continue to work that down. Check the length, that's looking pretty good. I'll go through and remove a little bit of that weight later on around the edges, but I'm going to continue to work that all the way back. So the next section here, I'm going all the way down into the nape. I'll take section three and section four, my new section, hold those to the center of both of those two sections. There's my guide the same broad razor stroke that I was using. Now here, usually at the top of the ear, I can angle that in and get that tighter around the nape, but the picture shows that it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna maintain this kind of length that we had as I go down into the nape. If this gets a little too mullety, I can clean that up later. Section five, parallel to the previously cut section. Take section four and five, comb those to the center of both of those sections. There's my guide length. Cut that down and through. Trying to keep my razor stroke the same. Next section, parallel, follow that through. Pin this out of the way. Remove the previously cut hair other than the last section that I just cut. Straight out from the head, there's my guide. Cut 
90 degrees from the head, trying to keep everything as even as possible. My last section. There's my guide. As that falls out, cut that down and through. So we've got this side done. So now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So after we've got all of our lengths kind of like we want here, I'm going to go through and clean up this length in the nape. I don't want to necessarily make this real super clean like it's a fresh haircut. I want to keep with the idea that this is really grown out. So I just want to pull out little pieces and real gently with my razor, just kind of take off some of that length to try to make it look like it's supposed to look this way other than, oh, I just got a fresh haircut. Some ways it's easier to go through, channel some of that length off, this little bit right through here. Please check out and follow us on our social media at Jatai Feather. Looking pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this hair right on top of the ear. I don't necessarily want to like make this super clean, but just take some of that weight out so it improves the flow when we brush that back. It's groomed, but not super clean. Now what we're gonna go through and do is I'm gonna separate from the top of the head back and I'm gonna fit this in and then we're gonna disconnect the top up here. I'm gonna take my section right where the crown would be, maybe a little lower, and angle that towards the top of the ear. So it's gonna come in right, oh, we got lucky, right to the top of the ear. So now this part I want to blend into my length that's going to go to the top. And I'm not going to disconnect this. So I'm going to pivot a triangular section right in the center of the back of the head. All right, so I'm going to take a triangular section right in the center of the back of the head. I'm going to comb this out. See my angle. Visualize my length down here underneath and bring that straight up and out. I'm not gonna round it forward just yet. I wanna maintain some length on the top. So I'll start here at the bottom. There's my length that just dropped out. And I'll angle that up and away from the head. So I'm maintaining as much length here as I feel is appropriate. Check that, see how that's looking. I don't want it to shelf, and I certainly don't want it to invert. So that's what I'm looking for to make sure I don't have a shelf kicking in or an inversion. That's looking fine. All right, now from here, I'm gonna pivot. Get this hair out of the way. Now I'm gonna take these two, bring them together, use this length here and this length here and connect those through. There's my length, there's my guide. Nice broad razor stroke. Comb that down, same thing. I'm looking for a smooth little blend. I don't want a lump and I certainly don't want it to round out. And I'm just going to continue to work that over until I get to my quarter part. So I've got two more sections. Remove the center. That will be the guide for the opposite side. Comb that out. There's my length from underneath. That was a little rough. Check that. It's looking fine. Remove my second section. Now I have the third and the fourth. Comb those out. There's my length. Same thing on the other side. Now from here, I'm gonna comb everything back. I'm gonna take a center section.
and this is going to be my guide for the top. So what I'm going to do here, take a small piece to cut. I'm going to hold that 90 degrees from the head, see where my length right there drops out, and then continue that to get longer towards the front here. And the first pass, I'm just guessing, I'm just kind of visualizing where I think that length should be. There's my length. Just continue that up and through. Come here. There's my guide length. Continue that getting longer towards the very front. Now here I want to look and see where that's hitting on the face. And then when I pump this back, how that's going to fall. That's going to be all the hair that falls in the face and when we push it back. And I want to keep it fairly long. When I know that I'm going to go through and texturize something real heavily, I'll go through and leave it a little longer. So I know that when I add the texture to it and it makes it feel shorter, I have a little bit of safety net. So I don't end up cutting everything completely too short. Now after I've cut my center piece as my guide, take my second section, which is going to be parallel to the first. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing I was doing before. I'm going to comb these two sections. After I've added my next section, I'm going to comb section one and two together in the center of those sections. There's my guide. And I'm going to cut the length off right in the center of both of those sections. There's my guide falling out and I see the guide underneath. Up and through. Now here, I will remove the first section that I cut, my guide, comb that over to the other side. I have my second section. Now I'll add a third section to that and do exactly the same thing. Section two and section three to the center of both sections. There's my guide length. Cut that up and out. Please click the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to click the bell to be notified of any future Jatai Academy videos. After I've done that, I will remove section two. I only have section three on the top and I will comb everything else into the top and cut off anything that hangs over. All right, coming into our last piece, we have just that little bit hanging off right there. Taking that off. Now, after I finish the right side, I'll go through and repeat everything on the left side. Now, to make sure that everything doesn't hang over too much right over here behind the ear, I'm going to go through and where I've undercut, I'm going to take a parallel section, similar to what I had done on the top, and then I'll just pull this out and see where this is going to fall around the face. I want it to hit around the nose, so I'll pull that out and then go through and start to take off as much length as hanging over as I feel is appropriate. And I'm keeping a really, really broad razor stroke and I'm visualizing this falling about to the nose, to the mouth. There should not be a whole lot that reaches here on the top. Oh, we got a little bit there. Just make sure nothing else hangs over. Comb everything over. We got a little bit right there in the very front. Now at this point, what I want to do is kind of just run my hands through it, get a feel for it overall, see the length feels like, see if how that front is looking. And I think that is looking 
pretty good. I think we've got enough texture in it because the texture that I see in the pictures, and this is our end result, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, the, the texture that I see in the photo is not some kind of deep internal texture as much as it's just texture on the ends to keep it really, really soft. And I think that this looks pretty good. I think we got the right texture to it. If we can get this mannequin head to have a, a little bit of curl to it, a little bit of wave, I think it'll look a lot like the photo. I think I want to put some product in this and let it air dry more so than trying to really style it because I want it to look very, very lived in and very natural like the photos that we were using as our inspiration. If you haven't already checked out the Jatai Academy, please do so. There's a lot of really great information on there. And thanks for checking us out and we'll see you next time.